In a significant turn of events, Nigeria's lower chamber of parliament has voted against the government's plan to acquire a presidential yacht at a cost of $6 million. This decision follows widespread public criticism, with many Nigerians expressing their concerns about spending on luxuries amidst a severe economic crisis. Instead of approving the presidential yacht allocation, lawmakers have reallocated the $6 million to the student loan budget, effectively doubling its funding, as confirmed by senior lawmaker Abubakar Bichi. President Bola Tinubu, who assumed office in May, had pledged to cut government waste and alleviate the financial hardships faced by the Nigerian people. However, a storm of outrage erupted when he submitted a supplementary budget to the National Assembly for approval, which included the $6 million yacht purchase in the Nigerian Navy's proposed capital expenditure of $53 million. Prominent human rights activist and former lawmaker Shiku Sani decried the situation, saying, the poor can't be struggling for survival in a canoe while their leader is yachting. Notably, President Tinubu's spokesman, Temito Pei Ajoi, distanced the president from the yacht procurement plan, indicating that the request was made by the Navy and had operational justifications. The budget, which was ultimately endorsed by the House of Representatives, also allocated $36 million for state house expenses, covering the acquisition of luxury vehicles and the construction of a presidential office complex. Additionally, the government plans to allocate $15 million for the presidential air fleet. This controversy unfolds against the backdrop of mounting pressure on President Tinubu due to the cost of living crisis and a significant devaluation of Nigeria's currency, the naira, against the dollar. Nigeria's annual inflation rate surged to 26.7% in September, according to official statistics. Leading Nigerian advocacy group, the Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project argued that the purchase of a yacht could not be justified when 137 million Nigerians live in extreme poverty. They also pointed out that the removal of a fuel subsidy by President Tinubu had further exacerbated the plight of the population by causing the prices of fuel and essential commodities to rise. Activist Omoyele Sowar accused the government of prioritizing luxuries while neglecting the suffering of the Nigerian populace. Mr. Ajati clarified that the president and vice president did not intend to acquire new vehicles for their fleet and were using vehicles inherited from the previous administration. The budget for vehicles primarily catered to hundreds of civil servants and political aides working at the State House. So, what are your thoughts on this groundbreaking development in Nigerian politics? How do you feel about the rejection of the $6 million presidential yacht purchase amid economic challenges? We're eager to hear your opinions on this significant decision. Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to stay updated with the latest news by subscribing to the new Africa channel.